Hello. So I have been off the morning coffee for just about two months now and I have definitely noticed some changes that I wanted to share with you. So it was really hard at first not having the morning coffee, just that ritual of having the nice comforting warm drink in the morning. So I, for a while I was just trying to replace it with something else and I do, I do still sometimes have like a warm beverage first thing in the morning after having a cup of water, but I don't like feel like I need it anymore. Um, it's definitely gotten easier. I don't really care that I'm not having my morning coffee, which is great because I was totally addicted to it. I don't care anymore. Um, I've gotten, gotten over it. Um, but I'll just have whatever I feel like having in the morning. And that's definitely nice. Like it felt stressful feeling like I needed that in the morning to start my day. Like I said in my, you know, first video about this, like, uh, that just doesn't seem healthy, right? <laughs> like feeling like I have to have this thing or else I just can't function. My day can't really start. That doesn't seem healthy. That seems like an addiction. So I'm glad to have gotten away from that. Um, now I'm still having caffeine more often than I'd really like to. Like I do, I'm, I'm planning on going a time without having any caffeine. And that's because I'm planning on doing a raw milk fast. But we'll talk about that later. <laughs> um, but for right now, like, I, I never have it first thing in the morning, but I do sometimes get like a latte or a cappuccino or whatever while I'm out um, because I still love that stuff. Like I love it. But here's the thing that I've noticed. The biggest change that I've noticed since giving up the morning coffee is caffeine actually works. Like it's amazing. Okay. Before caffeine never felt like it did anything for me. Like I felt compelled to have it um, like all the time because I was tired all the time, I'm still like, I still have fatigue quite a bit. But the thing is, um, I don't really know how to describe it, but my fatigue feels different somehow. Like it's not stemming from the same thing. I don't know. I don't know. But since caffeine works now, it's like if I'm feeling extra tired or um, in a dumpy mood, I can go get a little latte and it totally perks me up. Like it's amazing. It actually works. It gives me a boost in my energy. It gives me a boost in my mood. It's fantastic. So just that right there, like definitely makes it worth not going for the coffee every single day, every single morning, because, um, being able to use it as a tool now, instead of as just like, a crutch like I need this thing I don't need it every day and I don't have it every day um, but it's like if I'm if I'm feeling a little glum if it's a rough day whatever if I feel a little irritable whatever it is you know anything to do with like low energy or low mood or off mood I can just get a little bit of caffeine and I don't need much because my tolerance has gone way down like if I have I got like a stupid, gross iced coffee thing from Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin', this morning. Um, and again, not first thing, you know, it's, it's always like at least like 9 a.m. or later before I have caffeine. But I got one of those and like, I can't even finish a small without feeling like, you know, the kind of acid in, in your stomach feeling when you've had too much coffee and like a little bit, a little anxious. I, I can't even finish, you know, a small thing, really. If I get like a cappuccino, you know, like they're like this big. I can't finish the whole thing because I start to feel anxious and acid tummy. But even just, it's just like a little bit. I just need a little bit and um, it perks me right up. So yeah, like that's the biggest change. I'm going to stick with this. I don't intend on getting back on the daily morning coffee because there was nothing good about it for me. <laughs> like if it works for you, that's fine. Like my husband has coffee most mornings, but it, it's not the same for him as it was for me. For me, it was like, I just wanted to keep pounding it. Like I drank way too much. It was like, I was totally addicted. My husband 
he just has like a tiny little cup. He never, he doesn't even finish it usually and he's fine and he doesn't care and he doesn't have any more the rest of the day and he doesn't desire anymore. I wanted coffee all the time. I still kind of want coffee all the time, but that's just because I really like the taste and I mean, now I like the way it makes me feel, but I also know if I have too much, then I'm not going to get that feeling from it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's about it. I think I've, it's been a while since I've made a video because I just haven't really had anything to talk about. There's nothing going on. I'm just like, you know, haven't lost any weight yet. I'm just doing my workouts. Not quite as often as I should be, but it's, things are busy, right? Like do my workouts like two or three times a week is what I go for. Um, you know, it's spring now, so I'm like working out in the yard. I'm just busy, y'all. And um, nothing's really happening with my health, except for the coffee, or lack thereof. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'll be getting back to you about the raw milk fast. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna give it a shot. Hopefully I can stick with it and not be a big baby. I really like drinking milk these days, um, which is very weird to me because I was completely disgusted by milk my entire life. Like even when I was a kid, uh, I always hated milk. My parents didn't make me drink it. Thank goodness. Um, that was like, I wonder if it makes a difference because it was always pasteurized milk before and now I'm drink drinking raw milk. So I don't like, I don't know if there's a difference in the taste really, but maybe just it's doing more things in my body or whatever <laughs> that makes me crave it, but now I crave it. So see how it goes. Um, if you, okay. If you're addicted to the morning coffee and you have an inkling that it's not serving you, that it's doing more harm than good, give it a try giving it up. It doesn't have to be forever. If you decide you don't like it, then you don't have to stick with it. You know, people act like you make some kind of change in your routine or whatever, and you have to stick with it forever. Like, no, you can just try it. And, um, but you might find that, uh, it helps you out and then caffeine works again and it's great. <laughs> All right. Talk to you next time. Bye.